Hey guys, what is going on? It is me, Box 12 here, and welcome back to another Realm of the Mad God video. It's happening again, folks. Realm is back in a slump. Ever since Month of the Mad God, where we had one of our highest player counts, the months following have had some of our lowest, which is kind of the trend. Mag is always this huge resurgence of players all coming together, indulging in the daily and weekly activities, not to mention it's summertime, and then it just kind of dies out afterwards. Now, I usually roll my eyes whenever people say Realm is dead, or dying because it's been said so many times it's practically lost all meaning. To me, if I can go onto a server and I see a realm that has 85 out of 85 people, that's not a dead game. There is still a player base. Comparatively to what it used to be, sure, it's much less, no doubt. But I wouldn't call it a dead game just because it has a lot less players than it used to. I get where people are coming from though. There's a vibe that the game gives off when there aren't as many people playing. Developer activity or inactivity could also be a contributing factor. Less overall interest in the game from the people that you play with. And in my case especially, the one area where I notice that the game is really faltering in terms of player activity is on YouTube. When I look in my subscription box and I see all the Realm channels haven't made videos in weeks, that's kind of depressing. Yes, there are still a lot of Realm channels uploading, and I wouldn't want to undermine their success and contribution just because they're a smaller channel or whatever, but when all the big guys just sort of stop making videos randomly, GHCD's got school, I imagine the Mothership is in the same category, Spencer quit a while ago, Silver Dollar is doing his thing, haven't seen a video from Deso in a while either, Needawig pops in here and there, but is mainly done, Yin Yarn just naturally takes a long time to make a video, I imagine the older dudes like Calais aren't coming back, Hinez has made his own game. When these channels were falling out one by one, it wasn't a gigantic hit per se, because if one channel took a small hiatus, you still had a bunch of other ones to watch. But when they're all gone, you realize, oh shoot, there's not much left. Even I just took a short notice vacation for a couple of weeks and wasn't able to put anything out. And I know I can't keep holding on to this idealistic nostalgia forever, that Realm will always be the way that it was on YouTube. Everybody coming together, playing, doing the same old videos, in harmony. Eventually, all good things must come to an end. And I don't know when that time will be, it could come sooner than expected or further down the road. I know we all have our fingers crossed that the Unity port will bring back a ton of people, maybe keep a lot of people playing who are currently on the fence, and more importantly, maybe attract new people into the game. Maybe we could actually advertise it as a fully functioning game that is not just running on Flash, and doesn't have a ton of bots in the Nexus telling you to buy stuff from places that aren't even connected to the real game, and that people can play on their home console if they don't have a good computer, or that they could play on that not good computer because this game shouldn't require a great computer. But I also know that I can't put all my eggs in one basket. I can't bet everything on this game's success. The Unity port could very well just be another Month of the Mad God situation. Tons of people come in, the game is flooded with player activity, and then it dies out again after a couple of months. Or, optimistically, the former will happen, and we will have double, triple the amount of concurrent players right now, with a steady and consistent online community both in-game and on YouTube keeping things alive. Only time will tell on that one. I can't speak for anyone else on this, but for me specifically, when I see other people playing, I want to play too. I want to feel included, like I'm playing my part and contributing to the grand scheme. That's why I love working on my channel so much. I feel like this is my contribution. What I may lack for in other areas, I can make up for here. And when I see other people doing the same, making their own videos, different styles, all this variety, it gets me excited and it makes me want to do better. I've always believed that a healthy competition is very beneficial to a community like this because I know that every time I see someone put out content where they did their best or they did something that they really liked, it sets a standard for the rest of us to do not just as well, but to try to do even better, do the best that we can. Because if nobody else is making content, what is the standard? You. You're the person setting the bar for everyone else. So you can decide to be lazy one day and suddenly that's the standard. But when you have other people helping you, you can build ideas from them. You can learn, grow, stimulate that creative side of your brain and not feel like you're in it by yourself. And I mean, that's just a classic case of an artist finding inspiration. In 2011, 2012, just putting music over a simple piece of gameplay was all that you needed to make Realm content. Because playing the game was interesting. Not everybody could do everything. Soloing Oryx 1 was an extremely admirable feat that was really enjoyable to watch. Throw some of your favorite music over it before copyright strikes were a thing, and you got yourself a Realm channel. But if you wanted to do some more comedic, over-edited stuff, look no further than Hanez. That's the standard. He's the bar that's been set. Try to do what he did, but do it with your own style. 
In my case, obviously, Homies of Mars was my inspiration. I saw him making guides and wanted to try my hand at it. So I did, but I eventually twisted it to make it my own. And even now, I still play off of other people. When I met Yinyar, not only did I think his content was top-notch and not to mention refreshing, when we were talking about his next video at the time, Why the Wizard is Stupid, brainstorming ideas, it was like a waterfall of creativity was flowing. Ideas were just coming and going, I was jotting things down, we were laughing, having fun. And the next video I ended up making was The Haunted Cemetery Guide, which is still one of my favorite videos to look back on. Not only did I have a blast making it, but I had to do it with Within a time crunch, two days before Halloween, I crammed myself for hours sitting down recording lines editing, but I loved it because I was passionate about it. I had my inspiration. Same thing whenever GHCD started doing his crazy over edits out of nowhere. Suddenly, the standard for editing and animation had been raised, and whenever I made my Shatters guide, I spent like a good 40 minutes just trying to get that dang intro intact. And even in the final product, it's still choppy, because it was actually beyond my capabilities to understand how that sort of depth and movement worked. But I still did my best and can smile at what I created. That is one of the biggest things that drives me as a creator. People. Seeing what other people can create when they put their mind to it. Because when I see that, I go, I want to make that too. I want to do what they're doing. They're enjoying what they're doing. They're making things that they want to make. I want to tap into that side of my brain again, because every time I do, it's some of the most fun that I ever have. So, I really hope that Realm makes a massive comeback. Regardless of what happens, I do have faith in this game because it's not the first time that it's had a huge dip like this. I think the first time that I remember this really happening was after Kabam took over and they released Pets. While I know for a fact that tons of revenue was generated for the company and was able to keep the game alive, I know that once all of those pay-to-win aspects entered the game and we got all those bots flooding Nexus, that's when a bunch of people left. They felt like Realms aura had been devalued, reduced to nothing short of a free-to-play mobile game, with golden archers and ninja packs galore. And after Shatters came out not much long after, around 2014 I think, the 2015 to 2016 time frame was just, nothing was happening. Kabam was doing nothing for the game, except handing it over to DECA. And once that happened, I do feel like a lot of good has come towards Realm. I think that they really overdid it with the whole chest event thing. I mean, potions and tops are just not valuable anymore. But they've added so many cool dungeons, a lot of bug fixes, necessary features to make the game more accessible and smooth. Teleport invincibility, man, that's just so good. So I can't discount them as a company just because they've done a few things that I disagree with. Because they've done plenty of other things that I love. And I really hope that they continue to make good decisions. Here's hoping anyway, right? I'm gonna keep doing my thing, and I have faith that things will work out for the best in the end. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, don't forget to check out the next episode whenever I post it, which will probably be soon. Alright. See ya.